Wisconsin's schedule clears its path but clouds its college football playoff hopes. Madison, Wisconsin. So much about Wisconsin shouts national title contender. The Badgers are ranked fifth in the nation, and at 7-0 are one of six remaining undefeated teams in the Power 5 football conferences. They boast a freshman who is off to one of the most prolific starts for a running back in major college history and have dominated their opponents by a total margin of 256-93. It's those opponents, though, that turn down the volume of the hype, and, despite playing in the heralded Big Ten, it might stay that way until the regular season is finished. The combined record of Wisconsin's first seven opponents, Utah State, Florida Atlantic, BYU, Northwestern Nebraska, Purdue and Maryland, is a paltry 22-32. The Badgers' final five regular season opponents, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan and Minnesota, have a combined winning record of 18-17, and none are ranked. I've always thought this, the schedule is guaranteed for the team. The helmets will play, said Wisconsin coach Paul Christ whose team started 7-0 for the first time since 2011. Just enjoy the journey, and the moment that is this week, and at the end of the season you earn the right to do something. We've earned the right to be in a bowl game? What bowl game is it? Doesn't matter. It does matter where Wisconsin ends up, even if Chris won't admit it at this point in the season. His players 100% understand that they're in a national championship hunt said junior offensive lineman Michael Dider, even though they might not be able to fully prove it against a questionable schedule. At the end of the year, if that's where we're at, and that's where we want to be, then we will attack it, Dider said. One carry at a time, Notre Dame is making last season a distant memory. The Badgers' path to the Big Ten championship game could not be more clear. The only team that could be ranked in November are the Wolverines, 5-2, who visit Madison on November 18, and even in that game Wisconsin should be favored. According to ESPN's Football Power Index, which measures a team's true strength on a net point scale, Wisconsin has an 80% chance or better to win in each of its next five games. After that, a win on December 2 in Indianapolis, where the opponent could be number 2 Penn State. 7-0, 4-0 Big Ten, number 6 Ohio State, 6-1, 4-0, or number 16 Michigan State, 6-1, 4-0, could be enough for the program's first berth in the college football playoff. We definitely hear that. But we know that anything can happen on any given day, said running back Jonathan Taylor, who ran for 128 yards and a touchdown in last Saturday's 38-13 win over Maryland became just the sixth player to surpass 1,000 rushing yards in his first seven career games. We know every team is going to come in here and give us our best shot. At this time last year, Taylor was committed to Rutgers, his home state program, and was ranked as the 371st best player in the country according to recruiting services. Now he looks like the next great Badgers running back, ranking third in the nation with 158.9 rushing yards per game, to go with 11 touchdowns. Even as he makes rookie mistakes, like last week when he fumbled deep inside Maryland territory in the first half, he has a defense that excels in sudden change situations and is allowing only 265.4 yards per game, which ranks sixth nationally. But any talk of statistics, or of Taylor as a contender for the Heisman Trophy, like Wisconsin's playoff resume, goes back to the schedule. Wisconsin didn't play a Power 5 opponent in non-conference play this season, the 46 win at BYU, which was supposed to count as the marquee non-league game, has lost juice with the Cougars crumbling to 1-7. The quality of the Big Ten West is another issue. Wisconsin has a two-game lead in the division a bulge padded by the fact that it has already beaten Northwestern and Nebraska, the closest contenders with two two-conference marks. None of the other six teams in the West has a better overall record than 4-3. And the Badgers' strength of schedule isn't helped much by crossover games against the Big Ten East, since Michigan is the only such opponent with a winning record. That's why judgment is largely being withheld until, and in case, the Badgers make it to Indianapolis. 
Big picture, we know obviously that we have to be playing our best ball at the end of the year, senior tight end Troy Fumigli said. Christ and his players didn't have any anxiety over that at the team's facility on Monday morning. Players wore sweat and laughed as they sauntered off the field after a walkthrough. Taylor was alone and in a rush to get to class. Darius Rucker's wagon wheel played in the hallways outside the locker room. Nobody stopped to watch as ESPN analysts on a flat screen in the foyer barked about the headlines of the day, certainly none were about the Badgers and the clear path to the college football playoff. Coach Chris doesn't really talk to us about the college football playoff, Taylor said. You can't look too far ahead, because then you lose sight of what's right in front of you. More college football. One carry at a time, Notre Dame is making last season a distant memory. U Virginia is first Power 5 school with African American woman as ad. As Michigan fades, Notre Dame moves into the national spotlight. College football winners and losers, Bedlam is avoided. Long live Bedlam. Maryland football has not been able to match Big Ten's best 